Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we're going to be looking at something called fresh start. Fresh start occur post after chapter 11 bankruptcy. Remember, chapter 11 bankruptcy is a form of reorganization. This topic is covered in advanced accounting. It's also covered on the CPA exam for not regulation. I don't believe this is covered on, this is covered on the regulation section. Please connect with me on LinkedIn. If you have a LinkedIn account, please connect with me. You want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. I have 1,500 plus accounting, auditing, and tax lectures. They're all free. You can view them on YouTube. Please like them if you like them. Share them. Put them in playlists. Let the world know about them. If you're benefiting from my YouTube, it means someone else might benefit as well. This is my Instagram account. This is my Facebook account. And I do have a website. On my website, I often have CPA deals for you. For now, Becker, the gold standard in CPA review courses, is offering $1,000 off on their unlimited access option. This, this offer doesn't come very often. So if you're studying for your CPA exam or if you're taking accounting courses, it's no harm to sign for it now. Why? Because you're going to supplement your college education with the gold standard of CPA preparation. And notice this has unlimited access. So today we're going to be talking about the fresh start. So the, remember, um, the company has the option of filing Chapter 7, which is liquidation go, going out of business, or Chapter 11. Chapter 11, we looked at it in the prior session. Chapter 11 is a form of reorganization. So the first step after filing Chapter 11 is the company must reorganize. Now, fingers crossed, hopefully after we reorganize, the firm might qualify for a fresh start accounting, also referred to as the confirmation of the plan reorganization. So basically what happened is if they got out of the bankruptcy, they will have the, the company will provide a fresh presentation of a newly valued asset and adjusted liabilities. What is fresh? As the word suggests, fresh means it's new. Everything is new. Their assets are new assets. Their liabilities are new liabilities. Simply what they do, they will clean up their old balance sheet. They'll clean up the balance sheet. A, eliminate any accumulated losses and improve the chances of survival as the new company coming out of bankruptcy. For example, in, in, in when GM get out of bankruptcy, they made sure they got out of the union contract between them and the union. That helped them tremendously among many other things, among restructuring their debt. So assets and liabilities, once the company emerge freshly, assets and liabilities are reported at fair value and we will eliminate beginning retained earning is reported as zero. What does that mean? It means any retained earning that's, that whether it's deficit, it's negative, or surplus, a positive, is eliminated. So when we have a fresh start, retained earnings start as zero. When are we allowed to have fresh start? Two conditions must exist. One is the fair value of the asset. They must be less than the post-petition liabilities and allowed claim. Now, what is post-petition? It's when the uh, petition for the for the bankruptcy occur so they have to be less than the post petition liabilities and allowed claim that's one condition and the original owner must receive less than 50 percent of the vote in stock after the reorganization so the original the prior <coughs> sorry the prior the prior owners can only own less than 50 percent now any effect on the forgiveness of the debt because when you forgive of the debt there is an accounting effect that is reflected in the predecessor entity final statement. So any forgiveness of debt that's in the prior financial statements, the fresh start, don't show the, any effect of the forgiveness of the debt. We also have to add additional notes to the financial statements, such as adjustment to the historical amount of individual assets and liabilities. How did we come up with those adjustments? The amount of debt forgiveness. Now notice this is only notes, not the numbers in the financial statements, only the notes, only in the notes. Significant matter relating to the determination of the revaluation value, including the following. So we have to, to tell the users, how did we come up with this, with this fresh start computation? One, we have to look at the method or method used to, deter, to determine the re reorganization value. And we have to take into account factors as the discount rate, tax rate, number of years in which cash flow are projected, and the method of determining terminal value. So how did we come up with all these numbers? Sensitive assumptions, that is assumptions about which there is a reasonable possibility of the occurrence of a variation that would have significantly affect measurement of the reorganization. What assumptions did we make? And did we make all sorts of assumptions? What if this happened? What if that happened? Sensitive assumption. What if, basically. 
assumptions about anticipated condition that are expected to be different from the current condition unless otherwise apparent. Also, we have to disclose assumptions that could be different from what we are experiencing now, as long as they are not obviously apparent. So those are the notes to the financial statements, and the financial statements start with zero retained earning, assets and liabilities reported at fair value. Now, a case in point is GM. GM went through Chapter 11, and they got out of Chapter 11, and they had a fresh start. So after they got get out of Chapter 11, they reduced their liabilities by $93 billion. They increased their asset by $34.6 billion. And what was unusual about GM is the creation of a goodwill of $30.2 billion. Most of this goodwill was uh, the result of accounting rules. Okay? So what happened is, in valuing liabilities, the firm credit worthiness must be considered. What does that mean? Since the credit worthiness of GM was problematic, what does it mean problematic? It means they did not have good credit. Once you don't have good credit, when you discount your loan, you discount your loan at a higher rate. Okay? So rather than discounting your loan at 10% because you have a bad credit, they will discount your loan at 13%. What happened with a higher discount rate? With the higher discount rate, it gives you lower debt book value or lower liability. Well, lo lower liability means you have less debt, which in turn gives you other assets which happen to be booked into goodwill. And also lower tax asset carrying value, which in turn contributed to a higher uh, goodwill. So notice GM was able to report 30 billion of goodwill because of different accounting rules as they were coming out of bankruptcy, out of chapter 11. And as a result, they increased their asset by 34 billion, most of it was has to do with accounting rules with either valuing the debt or val lower tax asset carrying value. If you have any questions, any comments about this fresh start accounting, um, please let me know. In the next session, I would look at debt restructuring. But if you happen to visit my website for additional lectures, please consider donating. If you're studying hard for your exam, study hard. It's worth it. And see you on the other side of success.